politics now. Big developments in the race for the White House with new polls showing Hillary Clinton leads the Democrats in key swing states. And Donald Trump's at the top for the GOP. But when it comes to the general election, check this out. Vice President Joe Biden, who still hasn't decided if he will even enter the race, well, he leads every GOP candidate in the state of Florida. While in Ohio and Pennsylvania, Dr. Ben Carson is the one to beat. So here's the question. What does it all say about the mood of the country? Joining me now, my friend, Deborah Norville, co-anchor of Chicken Soup for the Soul, Think Possible, and the anchor, of course, of Inside Edition. We have you doing some current events today, too. I'm thrilled, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> I know you like to do this kind I of stuff. I love politics. So what do you think these polls suggest about the mood of the country? Well, it's interesting. These polls come from Quinnipiac University, which has done um, a great job over the years of following the mood of the country. And what the mood of the country says right now is familiarity breeds contempt. The people who are at the top of the pile, because let's face it, Joe Biden is certainly a well-known figure, but he hasn't been vetted lately as a candidate. True. So for him to be coming out as the top vote-getter in these three swing states, um, I think that only shows that we haven't really taken a good look at him. But in every single state, the hometown advantage is no advantage. In Florida, um, uh, both Bush. Donald Trump and Jeb Bush and Marco Rubio don't come out as well as they do in some of the other states where they're not the hometown guy. And Kasich doesn't do well in Ohio. So when you look at the political spectrum this time around, mm -hmm. What are, what are you seeing, and do you follow it closely? Well, we, we follow it in sort of a 360 um, view from, from our perch at Inside Edition. But in terms of what I personally see, um, kind of as a journalist who's been doing this for a long time, what I see is people are interested. They're not dialing in. I wouldn't put a whole lot of credence in any of this, except that both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton have very high negatives in all three of these swing states. And, and mind you that no one has been elected to the White House without winning at least two of the three states we're talking about in these polls, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Florida. Yeah. Oh, it's great to get your insight on that. Now, you want people to think positively. Yeah. And I've, I've known you for a lot of years and know that this is a motto that you live your life by. Yeah. And you've teamed up with the Chicken Soup for the Soul folks, and you're actually co-author now of this book, Think Possible. Yeah. What do you want people to get from it? I want people to get from this that when you think something maybe could happen, and certainly that's what all these political candidates think, that maybe they could be elected president. When you just make your mind up that that is something you are going to aspire to, you actually are able to better make it happen. There's research that I share in the foreword of the book that says when you've made the decision that it might be possible, you're able to filter out the extraneous noise and actually pursue your goal. And so this book is 101 stories of people that no one will ever meet um, who, who have made it their life's work to achieve their goal and these are the stories of how they did And you it. went through many more stories than oh my just gosh. 101. And there, you, there were 5,000 that were these. submitted. We had 450 that we individually, Amy Newmark, my co-author, and I went through. And we called it down to 101. All right. So if you want to be able to think possible, pick up a copy of Deb's new book. Yeah. And by the book, obviously getting the gift card's a bad idea. <laughs> And by the way, Deb was one of my judges at Miss America 27 years ago. I'm not counting. I'm not counting either, but it's always good to see you. It was a great choice back then, and it still is. Thank you, Deborah.